sister ready? I'll find her, Mrs. Carrington. I expect Hal saying her goodbyes. A very popular girl. So, Una, this is the day. Are you feeling any better? There's something in this not straight. I still don't understand why he sent for us. How long is it since you've seen your father? Almost a year. In New York, last Easter. I'm sure there are good schools in Delhi. But not San, Una. You mustn't be a schoolgirl snob. And you're to have a governess. At my age. Ah, oh, Halcyon, there you are. And Miss Barlow's going with you to the airport. Oh, smash it! Goodbye, Una. I think you'll find your father has a good reason for taking you away. I expect he needs me. Needs you? That's why I have to go. Goodbye, Mrs. Carrington. Don't forget the maths. You have a real talent. Some people call that a sacred flame. So you must guard it. You are the young ladies, daughters of Sir Edward Gwithian. Welcome. Welcome to Delhi. Please. Please to follow me. Dads! <laughs> well, here we are then. All taken care of? I'll see the baggage into your car, sir. Many thanks. Well, don't I get a kiss? I thought you might be embarrassed, like this, in public. Uni is so prim. And what have they been doing with you? They can't have given you enough to eat. They did, Edward, truly. Never mind. Miss Lamont will soon plan you up. So, home with Chinaberry, in the car. Good morning, Bubba. But where is her? We don't even know yet. Number 40, Shiraz Road. And number one, United Nations House in Delhi. And new Sahib. Secretary of Conference for Asian Economic Development. Not only in India, but the whole of Asia. And you can believe every word. Tick tock, China Bell. Tick tock, sir, Edward Sam.
here are my two girls, Hal and Una. Miss Lamont, your governess. Halcyon, why, you are perfectly named. Oh, wow. And you now, let me look at you. Why, Edward, she's just like you. Don't we shake hands? How do you do, Miss Lamont? I remember the smell of things, the smell of India. You were only three when I sent you home, after... After Mother died. Yes. Mine ran off to America. Poor old dads. I say, this is chicken curry. Super. But you see her sometimes. Louise. No, not much. Only when she's in London. Wasn't there something called pish pash? They give it to children in India. Fancy you remembering that. A baby brew of chicken with rice. I used to have to eat it or you wouldn't, you little wretch. You don't know the trouble I had bringing up these girls. Now, let me introduce Dean Mohammed, our butler, whom everyone calls Dino. And under him we have Karim and Aziz. Isn't this all rather sumptuous for us? There must be servants. Your father does so much entertaining. The United Nations took the house over from an American oil company. I think it's a touch extravagant for our show. Yuna's right. I try to cut down on things, but still we have this galaxy of servants. You can afford it. That's not the question. I think the house should be worthy of you. Oh, the Chinaberry point of view. This, or the veranda, will be our schoolroom. My room is there, and through here, is Yuna's. Hi. This is yours. Alex has spent a long time getting things ready for you. How dainty. You must have taken a great deal of trouble. Thank you. And look, Yuna, I've got a mandolin. Can you teach me how to play it, Miss Lamont? Yes, I can. Now, see what you've got. Where? Oh, Edward. Ivory and sandalwood. Oh, I remember the smell of it. Edward, they're exquisite. Mogul, that's what I brought you out for. What? To play chess with me. Of course. Does Miss Lamont play chess? So that's the trouble, you silly little muttonhead. I bought it to play with you. A monkey man. Chan, Dino, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Come here. I will not have this sort of thing again. Do you understand? This is ridiculous. This light. You will ruin your eyes. I like soft light. You don't understand. To write poetry surrounding it must be poetical. You are a dog. And you will go blind. <laughs> M gives his great medical opinion. You are student only.
I heard her first like this at a party where she was engaged to sing. As a professional? You mean she was paid? Isn't she supposed to be a governess? Not supposed, she is. Yes, but how did you know Oh, be she... quiet, Yuna. Or go to bed. Yuna, are you asleep? I'm sorry. The fact is, I've been wondering how to break this news to you. I heard today I'm leaving for Japan tomorrow. How long? Conference opens next week, just a couple of days. So you can spend the time getting to know Miss Lamont. She likes you very much. She wants you to call her Alex. Thank you. Now, go to sleep. Edward? Hmm? Who lives in the little hut at the end of the garden? Is there a little hut? I'm afraid I don't know. Sleep tight now. We'll need them. And a proper breakfast after. We're going riding. Does she ride too? Since she was four. Her father was in the Lancers. <laughs> Edward will be so sorry to have missed this moment. What moment? When you are introduced to your own horses. Look. You mean we have our own horses? This is Yunus. She's called Mouse. She's a little mettlesome, but Edward thought you could manage her. And this is Snowball for Hal. Don't you like them? Like them? Of course we like them. It's just such a surprise. But you've ridden before. Yes, at school. But the horses didn't belong to us. Is that yours? No, this is Edward's. Maxim. <laughs> Edward's? You mean Edward is a horse? He never takes any exercise. Why shouldn't he take exercise like everyone else? But a horse for Edward. I'm sorry, Miss Lamont. It's just you don't know Edward as we know Edward. Perhaps it hasn't struck you that Edward might have come to enjoy something different. Isn't it Alex? Miss Alex Lemon. Good morning, Captain Singh. New post. New people. Sir Edward Gwithian has engaged me as companion to his daughter. You have come up in the world. I myself have come down, as I well know. But aren't I reputable enough to be introduced? You are not reputable at all. Girls, this is Captain Bikram Singh of the President's Bodyguard. Yuna Gwithian. How do you do? And her sister, Hal. Arrange, Shaitan! Stop pulling her! And you know you should use your whip when mouse fidgets like that. I better take myself off and beat some of the devil out of this animal. And then if I may, I shall come and ride with you. Come on. Gosh, at least I didn't come off. You don't have to bother about Vikram. And girls, please don't encourage him. What did he mean when he said he'd come down in the world? His father is Pratap Singh, Maharaja of Paralumpur. I didn't think there were Maharajas anymore. No, poor Paralumpur. With independence, they've lost their lands as well. Vikram's coming back. Would you mind if I let Maxim out? He needs a gallop too.
had forgotten how stunning she is. What a thousand shames she should have spent all those years with the fat slob Serji. Serji? Chamanlal Serji. Miss Lamont didn't get any riding with him, whatever else she did. Did you know Miss Lamont well? In Delhi, everyone knows everyone. You mean everyone who is anyone? Let's say I know of Miss Lamont. Do you play polo, Captain Singh? Couldn't you call me Vic? As a matter of fact, I would be playing polo this afternoon. Why don't you come over and meet my sister? Edward's children are here today. I should have thought Edward would have brought a governess out from England. Who is this woman? She calls herself Miss Lamont. She was with Sheikh Chamanla. You know the Marwadi millionaire? Who's that? The Indian lady behind us. Lady Srinivasan, with Mrs. Porter from the American Embassy. Two old busybodies. Doesn't Vic look wonderful? I should have been a boy and he a girl. He's so very pretty. But you are too. Didn't it hurt to put that ring in your nose? I was three months old, so I don't remember. It's nice. We haven't even had our ears pierced. Can we, Mr. Mont? Alex? English girls of your class don't have their ears pierced. Of course they do. Let's have ours done tomorrow. I think we both look super. Mine didn't really hurt at all. Yes, but what will Edward say? I don't think he'll care, as long as we're enjoying ourselves. Time for very long. Miss Ali! Miss Ali! Get in the car! Wait. Come on, you look, get in the car! It's Lobo! Wait for me! Wait! Ah, ah let me be young ladies. You know me, Lobo, friend of Mama. Tell her, tell her, tell her, very go on. Sally, wait, wait. I'll get you ice cream soda, OK? Wait, wait. Tell tell her. OK, Miss Sahib. We go, we go. Oh, Miss Sally. Who was that? Some drunken tramp. But she knew your name. Miss Ali. That, that's a Muslim greeting. Miss Ali. <laughs> I must order half a dozen more whiskey, and you may take this to Christopher for the trifle, but I want the bottle back. Achha, Miss Sahib. Thank you, Dino. We have enough cigars until Saib returns. Achha. Dino and Christopher have been at Shiraz Road for years. They know far more about this house than I do. Do you keep everything locked? Always in India. Your servants wouldn't respect you else. Missy Baba, flowers. Mmm, they're lovely, Dino. Dino? Yes, Missy Baba? What's the sweeper's name? Him, Mitchell. And the man who washes the dishes? Masalchi. He's from Kashmir, him, Suban. And the old gardener is Ganesh? Yes, Missy Baba. So, what's the other gardener's name? The Chota Mali. Him is Ravi. Ravi? Yes, it means the sun.
That girl is spying on me. Nonsense talk. Why should she spy? She's a girl. Do girls not like me? Hardly a daughter of Sir Quitian. I tell you, she does. Uh, does like you or does spy? If she spies, she must like me. I shall have to leave. That would be madness. Who could be more ideal for you than this? No one would dream of looking for you here. Right under their noses. But all that's blown over long ago. Oh, has it? I remind you again that Injit and Prasad are still in prison. You have not been chained. You've never had the water steal your food when you were desperate with hunger. Ravi Bhai, you cannot be sure. In any case, a little girl cannot harm you. Stay here and write your poems. It is a unique opportunity. Him, you are always so pompous. And you are always silly. Think what Dr. Professor Ashtosh said when you won the English prize. Bubbletosh Ostosh. The mantle of Tagore. Bull shit. Studying. You found a nice place. Lady Srinivasan has telephoned. She wants to give a little luncheon party for you and her. I don't want to go. Oh, now you must. She's a minister's wife. I'm trying to do some work. It's important to me. If I'm to get to university... You never mind all that now. We can start tomorrow. And I don't want to go to Lady Srinivasan's. I saw her at the polo match. You said she was a busybody. Oh, that was nothing. She's a friend of Edward's, and he'll be furious if you turn down a personal invitation. The Paralumpos are invited too, and you like Sushima. Please. Very well. How will enjoy it anyway? Why do you say that? You must have noticed. She's in love with Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> are you enjoying life in Delhi? You have a home, I think, in England. Well, the house is Edward's, but our great aunt Frederica lives in it. A Gwythian in Cornwall. Of course, you are the Gwythians of Gwythians. It's not very grand. Gwythian's only a village. A bit spoiled now, with caravans and chalets. But we spend holidays there sometimes. Or used to when we were at San. And do you like your new governess? Yes, thank you. I understand she was at the Sorbonne for a short while. That ought to be all right. The Sorbonne, my goodness. You girls nowadays are far too clever. I'm not. Yet, Edward told me you were hoping for Oxford. Well, not now. Well, you must come and see me again. Perhaps to one of my poetry evenings. Amina Sirinavasan runs quite a salon, but she doesn't ask dances like me. My name is Bulbul, Bulbul Misra, and my husband is called Song. Hello. When you're tired of the Paralumpers, come and see us. We have been seeing rather a lot of them. Oh, I know the attraction there. Look at him now, playing around with Silla, Joe, Bunny. Vikram! Vikram! Oh, bull, bull. <laughs> I've seen you for a long time. Yuna, forgive me. I've been waiting for the chance of a quiet word with you. My, how you've grown just like your mother. My dear Kate. D did you know my mother? Kate and I were college together. I knew you as a mere babe. Tell me, are you happy here in Delhi? I am, in waves. If there should be anything you find too difficult, please come to me. Just call the American Embassy and ask for Mrs. Porter. Rivière, fontaine et ruisseau, porte en livrée jolie, gouttes d'argent et d'or favori. Chacun s'habille de nouveau. Le temps a lâché son manteau. Edward! Why didn't you let us know? Why didn't you tell us? I wanted to take you by surprise. Or see how we were doing. But you must have some dinner. I had it on the flight. Come along, Hal. Edward's tired. You and I had better go to bed.
You trusted me with them. We must be patient. When you're so close. sent for us so he could have her. All the same, I think we should keep Alex. At least she's fun. Men need love women. So Sheila says her father's got dozens. Oh, you don't know what you're saying. Amy, you're so innocent. Suppose we had some prissy old governess like crackers at sun. Don't. Oh, God. How am I ever going to learn? Go on, Alex. I'm waiting for you now to sit down. If we had stayed at CERN, I should have sat my additional mathematics at the end of this year. Here in two weeks, we haven't done one hour of maths. Indeed we have. Decimals, fractions, percentages. I did those when I was nine. I need mathematics, Alex, pure and applied. Very well. Show me the books you were using at CERN. I was using this. Very well, take this down. An inclined plane is such. We haven't done inclined planes. I need to be taught. Then take it to the summer house and try. Then if you can't... I can't. You can't show me, can you? You not. Teach. You couldn't teach a junior. I don't believe you've ever taught. You never went to the Sorbonne. You, you're a governor's son. Yeah, how can you? Go to your room. I should prefer it. And you will stay there until I tell you to come out! You know, Alex cried. I'm glad. She's tried so hard. Everything's so happy and easy. Is it? Yes. Why can't you be? Why do you always have to be so difficult? Because I'm honest, that's why. I wish I weren't, but I am. Is that why you called it a sham? I know their love is... What's that got to do with us? Everything, don't you see? Edward wanted Alex living here with him, but he couldn't have her. So Sheila says he'll get tired of her. She says they always do. I don't think Edward will. He got tired of Louise. No. She got tired of him. Edward is faithful. He said he needed me to talk to. He needed us. Now he wants us to go to bed at eight, so he can be alone with her. He said he and I would play chess. We've never once, not ever, Luna, please wake. What is it? What? I had to come to beg you. Beg me? Beg you not to tell. It's true. I can't teach you. I didn't go to the Sorbonne. If you tell Edward, he'll send me away. He won't. He will. And you've had his love from the day you were born. You've never had to build your life on lies. You have no idea what it is to be poor in India, to be a nobody. And so I beg you, have a little patience. I'll talk it around, explain. Perhaps I can persuade him to let you go to the American International School. But let me do it in my own time, in my own way. Please, you know. All right. I won't tell. I 
Now get dressed. Time for dinner. Just to tell you that I am I. Then please, do not be frightened. Ravi. You know my name? I asked Dina. I, I've been watching you. I know you have, Miss Spy. Very well. I watched you, too. That's why you put the feather as a marker. In England, we'd say a peacock's feather brings bad luck. Here, the peacock is sacred. The very emblem of India. I hope the book was properly cleaned. The earth was wet and you threw very hard. Are bap. That Miss Lamont is not good for you, I think. I knew you were there, but I didn't think you'd understand English. No, Ravi, the Chotta Mali shouldn't speak English. Perhaps I am master spy. Should I ask Miss Bubble? May I sit down? Don't be silly. I have spoken English since I was little. Had I stayed at St. Thomas's College, I should have gained a first, probably with honors. And you didn't stay? No. I was persuaded into a group the authorities do not like. Had I gained a first, my father would have wanted I come home and manage our estate. My mother, I should become a doctor. My uncle would have wanted me in government service, diplomatic. But you see, I did not want any of these things. I wanted the writing of poems. Very good poems. Very good. I wanted peace to write them. And it's peaceful in your father's garden. Till someone throws a book. I'm sorry. No, you were brave. Unfortunately, I have forgotten most of my mathematics, but I am arranging for you. I have a friend, Amango Sharma, at present in medical school, but he is very good at mathematics. He will cycle here one, two times a week when no one is about and slip in here with me. Em shall come here and teach you. You'll be seen. Em and I have the art of disappearing. But suppose he doesn't want to. What I want, Em wants. He will come. Zero equals five, minus five times square root three t. Shh. So, t equals 1 over square root 3 seconds, the time taken to reach the highest point. Yes, good. And then the downward journey will take the same time. So the total flight time is... 2 over square root 3 seconds. And that's the answer. And now, now you know how long the flight is, you can easily find the distance or the range along the slope. Miss Quitian, you are not listening, I think. Yes, I am. I am. Let me look. You're not properly dressed. I am not. No. You have no flower behind your ear. Have you been working in the summer house? And I think I found the answer to that problem. Quite right. I must say, you now, it does you credit. Perhaps I can go on by myself. For a little.
When I was a little boy, I used to eat ants because somebody told me they would make me wise. And did they? M says not. Tell me about your home. The women and children live in the courtyard below. My father sits in the evenings looking out over his lands. The land is flat, you can see for miles. In his father's time, it was more, much more. At his death, it should be divided among his sons. But my father's land will not be divided, as I am only son. And it will all be yours? Yes, and more. One uncle has no children. But I don't want it. I want to live in the world. Now, him will be cross with us. Back to your more business. It's a record player. Oh, noise. God! Alex, come and dance. You can't want to spend your whole night talking to children and old people. The Maharani Sahib is not old, and Yuna and Hal happen to be in my charge. Well, you could forget them for ten minutes. I should tell Sir Edward that you are pestering me. And if I tell Sir Edward, there was a time when you were pleased to be so pestered. Vikram, go away. Please go away. What if I can't? Vikram, please. Alex, shall we go home? What are you doing here? Must you cling to me like a limpet? Go and dance with the others. Yes, run along. It must be difficult to be so desirable. You think you know something, don't you, Yuna? Yes, I think I do. As it happens, you don't. At the Paralumpurs, I had a message from my mother that she was ill, and I had to go to her. Your mother is here? In Delhi? Yes, in a home. Why haven't you taken us to see her? She likes to be quiet. Besides, there are some things I prefer to keep to myself. Before you go, and I should like you to go, I think you should beg my pardon. I can't. Ravi, one day, will you read me your poems? If you will come to my hut, tonight. Tonight? The garden house is too lazy, but mathematics, well and good. They are clear, precise. If we did them. We will do them. Come tonight. You see, even the book is Indian. So many of my friends are writing poems of Dylan Thomas, E.E. E. Cummings, all your poets. These poems are of nobody but myself. I haven't shown them to anyone, not even him. They are Indian poems. The others are not true. Listen, 
Let me read them. But will you know them? So quickly? I shall know them. I wrote them in Hindi and in English. I hope they are plain. Here, where I come at evening, in this great city's cage, I find an empty page. There, in my homeland, it is cow dust time. Ah, the warm dust, under my small bare feet. Who saw the hoopoe fly on the first day of spring? Who saw his sudden wing? I. How can I bring to you words that will sing to you? Lord of the absolute, Krishna, with your magic flute, call and I shall write far into the night. For who saw the hoopoe fly? I, a poet. I'm sorry. Was my reading very bad? Did you mind? Mind? I am Ullu. You silly owl. I didn't know it could sound like that. Nor did I. Did you like it? Like it? I think, Ravi, you have real talent. Talent is a sacred flame, and you must guard that. Oh, excellent. Well played, partner. Lady Srinivasan, do you know a poet called Ravi Bhattacharya? Ravi Bhattacharya? I think he must have been at St. Thomas's College. Ravi Bhattacharya? He was a St. Thomas student, one of the few worthwhile ones. How did you come across him? I, I read some of his poems. Oh, I didn't know they'd been published. They weren't. I found them in a St. Thomas's College book. <laughs> Ravi Patacharya ought to have tried for the Tagore Prize. What is that? Well, it's awarded every year in memory of Rabindranath Tagore by the Institute of Fine Arts, of which I am president. It carries with it a grant of 5,000 rupees, which makes it our most important poetry award. And do you think Ravi, this young poet, might have won it. It still could. But then, who knows what's become of him? I couldn't have won the Tagore Prize. Why not? Because I didn't go in for it. I don't want prizes. But you want to be published. I shall be in time. Don't be meddlesome. You will get me a secretary next. Read the poem. I'll be your secretary. Miss Quitty. You ought not to be here. Won't you call me Yuna? Afternoon in the summer house was different. Altogether, this is not a suitable friendship. On the contrary, it suits us both. Do you always lay down the rule for Ravi? No friendship is suitable if it has to be hidden. What does Ham do? I told you, he's in medical school. Isn't he rather old for that? He is very old. Two years my senior at college. He is also more than clever. He took a fuss. Please to stop speaking about me as if I were mere flies on the wall. The mango Sharma is Dr. Babudosh's blue eyed boy. Oh, and how can an Indian be a blue eyed boy, huh? Dolt. <laughs> ah! Take your hands off! <laughs> Submit, huh? Ah! <laughs> you have a watchman here. And why all these questions, miss? What is him to you? It's you he cares about. More than you care for... You're Ravi's best friend. There is nothing best about me. But there is. I think there is. Alex says you want to see me. Yes. I was hoping you could tell me. This is from your mother's lawyers. Some... 
Baker seems to have told her you've been leading a fast life in Delhi. People have said you've become infatuated with some young Raja. That's ridiculous. Of course it is. And anyhow, he isn't a Raja. So you know all about this too. Perhaps you can advise us who inform Louise. That's easy. I did. I thought she ought to know. After all, she is my mother. And what exactly did you think she ought to know? That I'm in love with Vic. Head over heels. Vic? She means Vic Grand Paralumpo, Edward. I promise you, this is all ridiculous nonsense. Oh, no, it's not. Quiet, Hal. Of course, the girls have been out riding with young Paralumpo, but always with me. You know they've been to a dance Very there. Well, too. the result is just the same. Louise is questioning my custody. How will have to go? Go where? I suppose to England, to your Aunt Frederica. I shan't. I'm going to marry Vikram. Oh, for heaven's sake, child. Unless you're so horribly mean, you won't give me a dowry. <laughs> God, I should never have brought her out here. The girl's quite off her head. The girl's very young. I'd better go to her. But the scandal will only be worse if you send her to England. The convent school in Darjeeling Sushila goes to will be quite far enough. So, did you know about all this? All what? You've bought her a ring. What? Oh, you mean Alex? Yes, it's a brown diamond. And do you know all about her? About Charman Lao Setji, for instance? You know. I've just had one display of childish ignorance. Please spare me another. There's one thing about Alex you may not be aware of. That horse you ride every day, I bought for her. Maus belongs to Alex. Yes. We couldn't find a suitable horse for you, so Alex insisted Maus should be yours. That's typical of her. So selfless. Yuna, I want to talk to you. Will they send you away too? I don't think so. They can't pack us both off to Darjeeling. They still need an excuse for Alex living here. So I'm still Gooseberry. Gooseberry? What is Gooseberry? Having to be where you're not wanted. Never mind. I have made a big decision, as you told me. What? To try for the decor prize. But Hemsed would have to talk to Edward. We shall. Listen, I shall tell you how it will be. You and Sir Edward will be in the front seats, of course. And I shall announce. I, Ravi Bhattacharya, write in both Hindi and English. But as my pronunciation of English is not so good, I call on my friend, Miss Una Gwydian, to read with me. He will be astonished. And when I win the prize, he will be filled with admiration, and we shall cast ourselves at his feet. Goodbye. All right. I want to hear everything. Hal? Goodbye, Hal. Goodbye, Yuna. Yuna, I am going riding. Mouse should be exercised. Then you can take her. My back still aches. You're doing this to make me unhappy, aren't you? No. I'm doing it because I don't want to ride. This isn't your writing. It isn't, is it? No. My God, what have you been doing? And what are you doing, looking at my private books? It is my business to see your work. Then why didn't you look before? That's what Edward will ask, isn't it? Did you really believe all this time I could have worked those problems out all by myself? You told me. So wouldn't it be better now if we made a pact? A pact? Between you and me? That I won't monitor you if you don't monitor me. What do you mean, monitor? Split on one another. Do you think I don't know about you and Edward, Mrs. Tanzan? I am sorry to disappoint you, but I am no longer Mrs. Tanzan. I have my divorce. I am only waiting for the decree to be made absolute. You now. I appealed to you once. I appeal to you again. You must tell me what you have been doing. When it's time, I shall tell Edward all about it. I want it to be a surprise. A surprise for Edward? But we don't want to tell him We. Yet. I and the person who's helping me. 
If you'd like to know, it's a friend of Lady Srinivasan's. Ah, so you met there. So, if we keep our pact, neither of us needs to worry. You know, there's something I want to say. I've tried before, but I think you've been avoiding me. What did you want to say? Just that I think you have some cause to be angry with me, but not with Alex. Also, in case this matters to you, that I think I've never been happier in my life. I'm not... Not angry with you. Well, to be disappointed, then. I know it seems that I dragged you and Hal out to India for no good reason, and I've been too busy and preoccupied to explain. But I believe that the future of our world lies in Asia, and I wanted you both to have this chance of coming to terms with another way of life. We haven't seen much. I know. But the conference is due to have two weeks' recess shortly. I thought I'd take you away. Take me away? Now? Just the two of us. I thought we should go up to Darjeeling and visit Hal. Catch a glimpse of the snows. What will you do with Alex? Oh, Alex will be all right. Hello, here's Mr. Sen. Good morning. You know, Mr. Sen. He's in charge of our United Nations stores. What can we do for you? Sir Edward, I should like to speak to you. Of course. Sit down, have a cup of coffee, sir. Uh, privately, sir. It's a private matter. Oh, very well. Sorry. Sir Edward, it's 13 bottles of Scotch whiskey. I check most carefully. Have you ever taken whiskey? No, never, sir. Then who else, Dino, could have taken it? The cupboards are never left unlocked. Not by me. I give out your stores from your own cupboard. Dino takes what is needed from the other cupboard and I enter it in the letter. But no bottles are missing from the stores of Sahib. But dozen and one bottles are gone from you in cupboard. There we are. Thank you, Dino. I think that's clear. Dino will have to go. Come in. Oh, Ramshand. Miss Baba, we are asking, please. All servants, Christopher, Aziz, Chanaberry, we want you go to Sahib and speak for Dino. To tell him what? Scotch whiskey sell in the market, 150 rupees one bottle. But Dino never take one bag. She take. Uh, how do you know? Miss Lemon, not still for selling. She take it to the hotel to her mother. Chanaberry know that hotel. That's not proof, Ramshan. We have to prove it. Are you ready? Coming. Thank you, Ramshad. I'll drop you off at Bulbul's. Then I must go to Connaught Place to pick up the things Christopher needs for this dinner tonight. No time to waste. I must call on my mother, too. At least 30 people are coming to dinner, and Aziz is reduced to taking command. Has Dino gone already? It stops talk among the servants. Better done with it once. Dino has been at Shiraz Road for more than 30 years. I heard nothing. And where have you been? I sent Chinaberry to fetch you more than an hour ago. Bobo wanted to play bridge. Very well. I'm getting out of this now. And you are coming too. Alex, you must tell Edward. Tell him what? About the whiskey. And Dino. You must.
must explain what you did. Tell him yourself and see if he believes you. Spite for the little girl. I gave my word to you. We made a pact. I shan't talk to you here. You're coming with me. No. I say you will. We're going right. Now, what have you got to say to me? Just that. You must tell Edward. Tell him what? About the whiskey for your mother. Tell him everything about your troubles and Mr. Lobo. Tell him why Charmin Lal said she sent you away. So you ferreted that out too? You can trust Edward. He's a loving person. If you tell him everything... And if I won't? You must. <clears throat> must is a word you can't use to me. But I can use to you. You must remember you are only a spiteful little schoolgirl and should keep your nose out of other people's business. I am here to teach you, and I am going to teach you a lesson, a lesson in obedience. Get on, Mouse. No, I shan't. Do you understand? I am giving you an order. Get on your horse. It's not my horse, it's yours. And you are going to ride us. Alex, you can't. Do as I tell you. With me, then. Are you sure she's all right? Shouldn't we call a doctor? No, it's fine. I'll just go and lie down a bit. It's all right, Edward. I'll see to her. Conference breaks at six and I'll come straight home. In time to get ready for them. You know, leave me alone. Oh, no. Shh. There may be people in the garden. What is it? What has happened to you? Alex. She hit me with a whip. Go back to your room. I will fetch him. Hey, Bhagwan. What has this bad woman done? Hold tight. I'm putting on a spray. It may hurt a bit. Do not bed tonight. And you will be stiff tomorrow. Here. What is it? Small sedative. Go on. Now you must go to bed. And sleep well. Thank you for coming. Small chance to refuse when Ravi pleads so pitifully. You will be better soon. Good night, Ham. Even a boy in babyhood. <laughs> no? <laughs> Not to cry. Not to cry. Perfect. Careful. I'm afraid to touch you. If I hurt your back. Ravi, 
means the sun. Right, Gussie, you're in time for breakfast. What brings you here so early? I would have called last night, but you were hosting a big reception. It's to ask about Yuna. Thank you, Ramchand. It seems she took a fall on the Maidan. And went to bed early. She was shaken up a bit, that's all. Why, what have you heard? I was out riding, too. I guess I got back to the stables just after Miss Lamont took Yuna home. And? Edward, their Sices believed they'd seen something. Don't ask me precisely what. But it seems they thought Miss Lamont should have taken Una to the military first aid post. And she refused. Then I have to ask, what did they think they'd seen? One of them claimed Miss Lamont had struck Una with a whip. And you believe that? Yuna's mother and I were very close. I have to be concerned for her, and all I know of Miss Lamont is... Is Delhi tittle-tattle. And you know I would never say... From others, not you. Alex is devoted to Yuna, and I trust her completely. That is one of the very good reasons I've asked her to be my wife. I guess there's nothing more to say, then. I hope you'll both be very happy. Thank you. You know, Alex and I have something to tell you. We want you to hear it from us because it'll be all over Delhi very soon. Thank you, Ramchand. Alex and I are going to be married. It's not really a surprise, is it? Well, no. After you gave her the ring? Can't you, couldn't you be just a little happy for us? I'm not unhappy, Edward. When is it to be? Six weeks today. April the 16th, the first possible date after Alex's divorce. I'm pressing hard for an early conference adjournment so that you and I can make that trip I promised you to show you a little more of India. Perhaps there won't be time. I'll make time. And as the United Nations chief representative, your father can perhaps arrange things. Yes, I know. I hope you'll both be very happy. Thank you. Now, I must get to the office and see if I can hustle those dreary delegates. You mustn't just for me. I'll see you to your car. No, you stay with you now. Bye, you two. As Edward says, you are loyal, Yuna. To Edward? Yes, if you prefer. I suppose you may think this will make a difference. It will make a difference to me. I mean to us. Yuna, I want to be a good stepmother. But we made a pact, remember? That's why Edward still doesn't know how those whiskey bottles vanished from the UN stores, or why you used a whip. Yuna, please. So? What I do from now on, where I go, whom I see, is my business. Do you agree? Yes. Very well. Good. And this afternoon, I'll need Chinaberry to drive me to Lady Srinivasan's. To meet her friend, the one who's helping you with the mathematics? 
No, to play bridge with Bulbul. What's this? A simul tree. When the flowers fall, the cotton from the pots blows everywhere. If I love you too much, I shall kiss you away. Ravi, I don't want to go away from here. Not ever. What is wrong? It's tomorrow. He just came home and told me. Conference is adjourned. We leave tomorrow. We knew it had to happen. For how long? Ten days. The wedding's two weeks on Thursday. Perhaps a good thing. It will give me the best chance to finish my poems for the Tagore Prize. Finish them? Without me? I am the one who writes the poems. Come here. If time is short, we make the best of it. Suppose him comes. Him doesn't come now. Why not? Who knows? Who cares? Set you so. It was only a performance. Acting like something in a play. She screamed so when the male monkey took her. Should it have hurt so much? She screamed, but he went on and on and on. That's enough. Junga. Worth coming. Yes. Thank you. Most of the girls aren't really religious. Well, not silly about it. Sister Bernarda said to me and Sashila the other morning, Are you feeling funny? Such a smell of cooking. Expect to see sausages. I think. I think I'll go to my room. She looks pretty grisly. Could be the altitude. And we were up at four this morning. Hello. Sorry about that. Are you all right now? I wish I kept a diary. I do. That doesn't help much. I think I'm going to have a baby. A baby? You know, you can't mean it. I do. But it isn't possible. Why not? I'm the same as other girls. But you don't know anybody. No one's ever even looked at you. That's what you think. You may be surprised to know, while you were making eyes at Vikram Singh, I've had a lover. But you couldn't have. I ought to know. Holy smoke. Who is it, Yuna? Who could it be? 
Never mind. I'm not going to tell you now. But what are you going to do? Wait. That's what all mothers have to do. Edward and Alex will probably send you back to CERN. That will be a surprise for all of them. Aren't you afraid? Of course. But happy afraid. Will he, the man, help you? I'm sure he will. But what will happen if he doesn't? Who will take care of you? Where will you go? Darling, how? He will. When did you get back, Kara? I flew into Delhi this morning. It is like a poem. First you plant seed, and then it grows. But are you pleased? I hoped you would be. Ravi? Ought I? Ought I to touch you now? Perhaps not. I don't know. Better not. I'm sorry. But I wish we really knew. I'm almost sure. But if we knew for certain... If you can stay alone for a while, I can get him. But will he come? You said... He won't mind. In any case, he will be studying. This is one more study. Him will come. How dare you come to me? I am student only. Una can go to her own doctor. No, I couldn't. Then Ravi can damn well find one. Him! Him, my. Who else can I turn to? You have always helped me, always. Think how easy it is for you to have a test made in medical school. There it is an everyday affair. For us it is life and death. is positive. It means yes. I say fools. Are you knowing nothing of sensible things to do? It is our first love. This is holy thing. The woman is fire, the door is the flame, the pleasure the spark, and from the fire springs the child. That is the Upanishad. Uh, maybe, but it is also every day. The truth is, neither of you gave any thought to this trouble coming. Why should there be trouble? It is only two months until the prize giving. Then everyone will know openly of Una and me. And of this? Why not? Really, you are impossibly silly. Ravi, think of your parents. To them, this will be a abysmal disgrace. And you? Do you think Sir Edward would let his daughter have a child by an Indian? A servant? Ravi's not a servant. And how could Edward stop it? I think. They couldn't. They couldn't do it. Wake up. How could they do it? The doctor, of course. You're living in the 20th century. This could be terminated in a few minutes. Don't. You're brutal, Hem. It is brutal to speak the truth. I am brutal. Tell him. No one is going to touch my son. Then you will have to take Una away. And quick. But where? That is your affair. At this early stage, the pregnancy could be terminated up to 20, perhaps 26 weeks. After, I doubt Sir Edward would risk it. So, if you want this child... Of course we do. Then the next four months is your dangerous time. Then, for four months, we should have to hide. She would have to hide. You can take it away somewhere, then come back and win the Tagore Prize. What to fear? Who would connect a poet genius with some dumb fool gardener's boy?
Thank you very much, Chinaberry. Annex, where he lives. But Ham said he wouldn't help us. I haven't asked him. But I have the key. Come. So this is where Ham lives. Dr. Boppeldosch lent him that and gave him the typewriter. Doesn't Hem have anything of his own? What would he do with it? How sad. Never mind him. He must make you now into a good Indian bride. Where are your clothes? Too clean. I dirty them a bit. Take off your clothes now. We have a lot to do. Did you bring the dye for my hair? I bought it on the way. It's in my trunk. I bought the poems as well. It's not safe to leave behind. Here's what we need. See? What is it? One of them's horrors. Where? Uh. We have to use the sink to do your hair. I give you a bit. Too nasty. There. Mother, you shouldn't. Think of him. It's done. Him will find another one. Come on, we dye your hair now. Yes, I'm ready. Ravi, you said we wouldn't. I have unsaid. We can be quick. No. I wouldn't like it. But I like it. Not on Ham's bed. A new experience for it, I bet. Bravi, no. Don't pick your way like that. You are supposed to be accustomed. Walk. Walk. Quick, get up. But it's full up already. We shall be lost in the crowd. Ants among the ants. Here. It's in the passageway. Everyone will push past us. It's the only empty space. I will go and buy some food and water.
They shan't be going all the way to Benares. They may be checking all the trains. Not yet. Edward and Alex won't be back from the bird Thank you. Ramsha, good morning. Thank you. Ladies have father and mother in the drawing room. Father? I have no father. Well, it seems you have now. Yes, here we are. We have come to wish you. What a surprise. Hmm? Edward, this is my mother. Ah. Splendid. Goodness me. <laughs> Come, Ali. Let me look at you. Ah, oh, said, but you have taken care of her, and she is really Lady Gwythian. <laughs> now, this gentleman is Mr. Lopo. I have known him a long time. So as Ali, though she does not choose to allow him. Mm. Honored, much honored, noble sir. And you are not the only ones to get married. This afternoon, Father Gonsalves is going to marry Basil and me. We are going to live in McCluskiganj. A Eurasian settlement, if you will lend us a little money to buy a bungalow. We have come to invite you to our wedding, though you did not invite us to yours. In any case, we have come by to wish you, and Basil has brought you some cakes. Come, Basil, you must kiss the bride. Well, darling. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, I shall call you. So many, many times I've forgiven Ali. But why talk of unhappy things today? Much better, we have a nice wedding drink, the four of us. Mama, you mustn't stay. Edward has work to do. Nonsense. Ask us to bring some drinks. That is my generous boy. Did you not see the ring he has given Alex? My God, what a ring. Can I forget that week in and week out, you have sent me whiskey? Mama? You shouldn't speak of things like that. Have I sent you whiskey? Who else? And none of your cheap Indian brands. The very best scotch, bottle after bottle. Oh, yes, of course. I'd forgotten it. Excuse me, Mrs. Lamont. Alex is right. I have some work to do. Please make yourselves comfortable. Alex will bring you something to drink. Such a busy man? Not to worry. I'll see you this evening. Edward, Edward, you must have something to eat. Isn't there anything you can say to me? Only that I'm glad Una wasn't here. Where is she? She went to Bulbul's for the night. I expect she'll ring. Yes, of course. If you could understand. Oh, but I do. My sadness, my regret is that I allowed Dino to be dismissed. I was afraid. Of losing me? Oh, my dear. You could never have been more afraid than I was of losing you. Surely you knew that. some local rich man. Seva Puri. Seva means to take care. See? I am taking care of you. Isn't it rather the rich man?
Have you tried everyone? And searched her room. She seems to have taken nothing. Everything's here. Only her toothbrush and a comb. They're not in the bathroom. Her notebooks? Letter from how? It came today. She couldn't have been abducted. And hoodwinked Chinaberry? I never played one game with her. Perhaps. What's this? I'm safe and well and happier than I've ever been. Don't try to find me. You have your new life, and I have mine. Love, Una. She's gone. What the hell is she playing at? And where to, an ashram? No, I don't think so. What? I don't think Una has gone alone. You mean there's something, someone I'm not aware of? Well, then, for God's sake, tell me. She talked to me about someone who was helping her with her mathematics. I didn't dare to tell you because the help she needed was too advanced for me. And now you won't forgive me. Alex, I don't want to hear another word about your motives. Just tell me now, who was this person? And where did Una meet them? At Lady Srinivasan's. Now, this might be a tiny clue. She did ask me about someone, a young poet. He used to come here and read. But this was well before her time. His name was Ravi Bhattacharya. Tell us some more about him. Oh, Ravi Bhattacharya was an outstanding young poet. Outstandingly handsome, too. But I remember being surprised that she knew of him, because none of his poems has ever been published, as far as I know. And you're sure she didn't meet him here, or at Bulbul's? <sighs> Bulbul and Soma aren't interested in that sort of thing. And I'm quite sure she never met him here. It must be two or more years since I last saw him. He disappeared. How? Disappeared? I was told he'd gone underground, been involved in some trouble with an extremist group. But I had meant to tell Yuna that she would meet him. He has entered for the Tagore Memorial Prize. The judging will be held at the end of June. Then he may be here, in Delhi. He will be, on the 30th. All the finalists must read their poems. But she knew his name. And you say that is Ravi Bhattacharya. Unless, of course, you know him by some other. Come along. I can't. You must come along. How far have we gone? Perhaps five miles? Couldn't we have a rest? Go on when it's cooler. Hurry. This is a horrible place. I know, but I can't go on yet. It would be your fault if they catch us. Why should they look for us here? There may be police all along the road. And they'll catch us anyhow. Oh, and my feet. You must eat. I can't. Fuss, fuss, fuss. It isn't me. It's him. I forget. I still can't believe it. You will believe it. One day. Ganesh says he was given leave to go back to his village for his uncle's funeral. Varro, Day Lewis's poetic image. Form and style in poetry, W. P. Kerr. Some gardener's boy. Who is W. P. Kerr? One of our greatest professors of English. Chota Mali is coming back. Chota Mali Kalaiga. Usne hame bazaar se dur aur dahi le aane ke liye kaha. Aur tulsi manch par diya jalane ke liye kaha. Either he was fooling Ganesh or he intended to return. What's this? Poems. 
or drafts of poems. This one is in Una's hand. St. Thomas's College. Yes, I remember him. I fear he had reasons for being hidden. In that connection, there is something which I could never understand. The boy had a friend, perhaps two years older than him, a young man called Hemangu Sherma. Almost two years ago, there was an incident at a factory near here where a group incited the factory workers to riot. A foreman came out, simply, I believe, doing his duty, and he was beaten and had acid thrown in his eyes. The group got away. But one young man gave himself up and was arrested. Him Sharma. Well, please listen. Him Sharma could never ever have done such an act. I knew it. Yet the trial court found him guilty and he was sent to prison. He refused to name the others. But I made him appeal against his own sentence. And him was freed. Very well. But what has this to do with my case? Only this, if you want to find Ravi Bhattacharya, I suggest you go to him, Sherman. What is it? A peacock. I saw the peacock dance. Mr. Sherman, may I come in? No. I know why you have come. Miss Una changed here. Ravi Bhattacharya has a key. But, Sir Edward, I do not know where they have gone, and I do not want to know. But you were a party to this. I was not party. I advised them to speak to you. They would not take my advice. You mean this Ravi wouldn't? He might, might persuade, but not Miss Una. She has come to love Ravi. Come to? Then this has been going on for some time. My daughter is underage. You must have known that this... This gardener was committing an offence. If to fall in love is an offence, I'm told your Adam and Eve did it before the fall. I do not wish to sleep at all. You slept on the train. Namaste. Lift me, Liga. Well, nothing seems to be known against this young man, Bhattacharya, sir. I understood from Professor Azutosh that he joined an extremist group. We have no proof, but uh, Himango Sharma has a police record. He was jailed for three years. He appealed and was acquitted. So it seems. All the same, it will be easier to take him in and urge him to talk. You're going to sleep again? Kya wobbly jaan, best of my life. Don't you know you are a dead weight on my arm? Then don't hold me. I have to hold you. The door isn't safe. I warned you. Bye, namaste. Come 
on. Again, chill up. You must get me a clean sorry. I can't go to your grandmother's like this. Of course you can. I tell you, she will not even see your clothes. I'm reeking. Your fault for jumping into the puddle. I didn't jump. I fell. Who were all those people? I told you, I don't know. Some religious procession. You call that a religious procession? Yes, our religion. I thought you loved India. I do. Ravi, I've got these spots. Until your fastidious little nose is rubbed in her. I tell you, these people will go at dawn to pray. Wash in the river ritually. I think it's prickly heat. Immerse themselves, which is more than you will do, you little hypocrite. Where are you going? Well, you said I wouldn't. In the river. Una, come back. We are at my grandmother's. In the river. But don't be a fool. Bring me clean sorry. You can bathe in the house. <laughs> like a water lily. I've been to the shops and bought you a clean sari. Come, my grandmother is waiting. Mother Ganges. Gangamai. Here. We are safe. Shri Bhattacharya. Why have you come? I have a daughter, 15 years of age. I have reason to believe that she's been abducted by your son. I have no such son. Ravi Bhattacharya is your son. He has committed an offense against my daughter. If he brings her here... She would be returned to you immediately. Such a girl would not be permitted in my house. You understand, Sri Bhattacharya. I have no alternative but the police. This could be a criminal charge. Your house could be searched. They may search it. He will not come back here. I have given orders. Sri Bhattacharya. I can do nothing to help you. It's time for me to take my meal. Good morning, Sir Edward. Sir Edward. I'm Ravi Bhattacharya's mother. How do you do? I'm very... Shh. Forgive me. At times one is forced to eavesdrop. Try to understand. 
No worse blow could have fallen on my husband. I am the mischief. I was educated in the Western way and now Ravi is tainted. By my daughter? To my husband, such a union is unthinkable. And so there is no choice. Here is the address of Ravi's grandmother, to which I think they may have gone. And if I should find them there? Ravi can be persuaded, especially if his work is threatened. Where are you going? To report back for duty, sir. In Shiraz Road? I have been on leave of absence to observe the funeral of my uncle. This is your grandmother's house? She's not at home. I think she is. You will take my card to her. She doesn't receive strangers. Now be sensible. You know I've come for Yuna. This is Colonel Jaswal, the Inspector General and Chief of Police. Nanaji! Nanaji! You are sooner than I expected. If I hadn't come, would you have sent for me? I think not. Better, I think, to let things take their course. Where is Yuna? The little one is asleep. Now you have found her, what is the hurry? The hurry is that a scandal might blow up. Also, I have a conference to attend on Monday morning. Speaking of scandal, there is a phrase in law, Sir Edward. The innocent party. Here there is no innocent party. Either both are innocent or both are guilty. The fact is she is underage and they have run away. From what do they run? From fear of their families? Fear is an ugly thing. We make it from divisions, Indian English, caste class, young, old. Such a tamasha, brouhaha. I thought I'd forgotten that word. With such ideas, you should guard her more closely. I thought I had. As soon as she saw the river, her little daughter went to bathe herself. Before ever she came to the house, I asked her why. Her answer was simple. She said, to wash away the dirt. She said more than she knew. Why make dirt, Sir Edward? Yuna. Go away. My dear. I'm not cross. But I am furious. I said, don't try to find us. I had to. You not be reasonable. Ravi's my reason. Ravi could be charged and sent to prison. Perhaps for seven years. He's still my reason. Well, you can't understand mine just now. One day you will. No, I will never see. Ravi has. What did you say? Ravi has seen sense. He's agreed to be put under surveillance by Colonel Jaswell, the Chief of Police. If he stays under that surveillance, he'll be allowed to compete for this Tagore Award. Then he's going home to his father and mother. I don't believe it. And he's promised not to see you again. That's ridiculous. I don't believe it. I shall never believe it. Not if you can hear him say it? Ravi? Why did you send for me? Couldn't you take it from him? What? What have they done to you? Una, you don't understand. If I don't do as they say, 
this could send me to prison. Then you must go to prison. What of my work? Poets write in prison. Think of Oscar Wilde. <laughs> Wilde was not a good poet. Besides, in ten years... Edward said seven. Even seven. We shall not be the same. I shall be the same. You think so now? Think? I know. Oh, Robbie. Robbie, hold me. Tell me this is a bad dream, isn't it? Isn't it? The fact is, Una, we have to give in. This room has a back staircase. Before you come, 20, we could be among the pilgrims. You can see them bathing now. No one would ever find us. I have a hundred rupee note. I hid it. If we're quick. You're not coming. I can't. You don't want to come. That is not the question. I want to write my poems. I see now. That is paramount. Paramount? You've told me so a dozen times. That was before. It will be difficult enough to write the poems well without these police fellows over me. And I have to go home, eat humble pie to my father. Please, don't make it worse for me. I tell you, this is over. How can it be over? And our baby is coming. Jump! Look, Una, as soon as you get home, you must tell Miss Lamont. She will know what to do. All women have such ways. You said no one is going to touch my son. You said that. I was foolish. Colonel Jaiswell is kind. He and your father, they have made me see I was foolish and bad. They made you see this was bad? And you let them? Let them? Get out of my sight! Go! <laughs> I have something to ask you. Ask, my darling. Edward, please leave me here with Nanny G. In Benares? I like it here. And she would have me. You've seen how I'm looked after. We couldn't trouble her. Nothing troubles her. That's why I want to stay. You can give me a little money. A little would do. Please, Edward. I do understand. She is a wise, serene person. But you're not thinking. I am. You don't need me now. You have Alex. Oh. Alex. You don't know how ashamed I am. Of her? Of myself. Yes. I can well understand you're wanting to stay here. But this must be the end of all the harm I did by taking you away from CERN. From CERN? I know now that was wrong. You must go back to England. No. Not to England. No more argument. Now come and thank Shrimati Roy. We'll spend the night in a hotel and fly to Delhi tomorrow. No! That's enough! Sir, what to do? It's still not light enough. I told you to get out the dye. Well, by luck we've settled it and hardly a soul is wiser. I can't thank you enough. Now, you must come in. Where is Lady Grithian? Lady Sahib in our room, Sahib. Why doesn't she come? Lady Sahib is packing. Packing? What for? And it's time for me to say farewell. I was going to ask you to stay for a drink. 
most kind, but I really must go. Well, thank you again. Excuse me, Colonel Governor. Oh, Edward. What absurdity is this? Where do you think you're going? The only place I know. To Mama. The jewels are in that box. I've only taken a little money. Alex, there's nothing to be afraid of. Yuna's here, safe and sound. We need you. Yuna must go to bed. I'm afraid she's exhausted. What is it? Tell me what's wrong. I opened Hal's letter. It came after you had gone. I thought perhaps that it might help us. What does she say? It's the postscript. Shushila says the nuns here would take the baby if it's a girl. What do you say to that? It's true. I'm pregnant. We had a test. And it was positive? Yes. Shouldn't one be glad about a baby? Hi, Anne. How long? Six or seven weeks. Alex, go and ring up Dr. Kotbib. I think he can be trusted. Ask him to come round straight away. Yuna says the test was positive. What should I call him for? You know very well what for. He can take Yuna to a nursing home tonight. <laughs> be quiet! Alex, do as I say. I can't! You mean you refuse? Yes. Edward, this is too cruel. Cruel? Yes, you have power. You are a great man, Edward. But what is the use of greatness if you are cruel? Then what am I to do? What else can I do? Wait. Then it will be too late. My mother would say to interfere in this is a sin. Your mother? How dare you speak of mother like For that? For God's sake, don't give me all that mumbo-jumbo. It's not mumbo-jumbo. What you feel in your heart is true. My God, I ought to know. Alex. It is difficult for you to understand because you have never been what we call bad. Nonsense. You haven't, I know. And that is what makes you so harsh. Harsh? Cruel? What else have you got to call me? Harsh with yourself most of all, and Yuna is you. I thought she was. But not now. Not for a long time. My fault, I know. And now? Can't you make that good? Let me go somewhere where I can have our child. Mine now, I suppose. That's impossible. Why? Why is it impossible? Oh, for heaven's sake, how can she keep this infant? A little bastard half-caste? <gasps> what have you made me say? Perhaps what you think. Hem was right. Hem said you'd do this. You want to destroy something that was beautiful and make it ugly. You didn't want me to watch the monkey man because he made it hideous. That's what you've done to Ruffy and me. Mr. Monkey Man? That's enough. I'll go and ring Dr. Gottlieb myself. No, you can't. We shan't let him. It's all right. I won't let him. How can you stop him? I shall. I will. You haven't spoken to Dr. Gottlieb? Not yet. But I must. What else am I to do? Edward, come to me. Thank you. But I shan't need it again. You will. I've lost too much time. Poppycock, I lost two years. You came to ask me about Ravi. To see you. You're the only person in Delhi I want to see again. 
I'm going back to England. Then to say goodbye. I must go now. Yes. Edward told me, when that man had acid thrown in his eyes, it was Ravi who did it, wasn't it? Then why did you confess? Go to prison when you'd done nothing? They came for Ravi. You did it to save him. Why? Why did he do that? Oh. Now I see. Ten. It was him, not me. So we were both. I think you say in the same boat. Or in the same hot water. Ravi is the peacock. You know why it gives that awful cry? It's been so busy admiring its beautiful train, and then it suddenly looks down and sees those ugly, ordinary feet. Una, don't. Ravi is Ravi. Yes. I suppose anyone can have a baby. Very few can write a poem. Oh, no. No one's going to get their way. Scream! 